Okay, the verdict is this. Jackfruit, really, Jesus Christ. There's a community post. You were waiting. The jackfruit. What the hell is a jackfruit? It looks disgusting. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. And I'm Jenna from Jenna Lane Fitness. Today we are trying a jackfruit. Neither one of us had ever tried it. I saw it in the store the other day and was like, I gotta try that. For some reason, I put out a video and you guys actually watched it of me eating dragon fruit for the first time. It's not that good. And I got a lot of engagement. And I was like, you know what? I like fruit. I like trying new fruit. So I'm gonna keep doing this for as long as you guys keep watching. This smells really bad. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell bad. I've been holding it. it. It smells bad. If you're new to this channel, I truly appreciate you sliding by. We're all about mental fitness on this bad boy. And I love nutrition. This is gonna be interesting. Never even seen a jackfruit before. Definitely have never tasted it. And I did not realize that this is how it came. Let's dive into this. I've done zero preparation on how I should cut this and eat this. No, 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 no. Let's just get let's into look it. it up. No, let's get into it. So I got an I got an assorted cutlery here. Watermelon knife. Shout out to the melon felons. Hey. And then I got a little knife and then a big knife. A serrated knife. If you're new to the channel, do me a flavor, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, every time we put out a video, you're gonna know about it. As I was pointing at you, I was like, that feels very, You like, said flavor. Yeah, all five of them, like a lifesaver, baby. Jackfruit is very versatile and big, and can be eaten raw or cooked. To prepare it, you will first want to slice it in half and remove- No, 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 we don't need any instructions. Let's just do this, here we go. Okay, this thing is heavy as hell. Like, let me go weigh it, hold on. Holy crap, holy crap. 15.2 pounds. I did some reading while you were gone forever. Um, jackfruit is native to South India and vegans and vegetarians often use this fruit as a meat substitute due to its texture. Huh. Which is comparable to sh shredded meat. Jeez. Look at that. That smells good. Look at that. It's got like, uh, it's got like seeds in it. Zan, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh. So in the previous video, I'll link that here. I dropped a nut. In the previous video, Zan, my editor, he basically cracked on me for saying that, oh, this, this fruit's got seeds in it. Technically, all fruits have seeds in it. That's true. I didn't put those how, two together. How do they reproduce? If Jenna, they I don't, I don't want to talk is about it. This like a woody seed. Yeah, it's like a woodish seed. Oh, I keep dropping the seeds. All right, let's, let's eat this thing. Do you eat this in the middle? Well, I don't know, you cut my instructions. Yeah, no time for that. Their seeds are flying everywhere. Wait a minute, didn't I throw that little instruction thing off? Oh yeah, it's over there, go, go grab that. Oh, it's really sticky. Okay, so that's what I, I did read in the comments because I did a community post and everybody's like, that's a substitute for beef or that's a substitute for whatever. No, it's not. It smells good, it smells very tropical-ish. Imagine you eat the orange part. Lightly oil knife, remove yellow pods from fruit, remove seeds from the pods, enjoy the jackfruit. So you're supposed to eat the yellow part. Yellow, got it, nailed it. Maybe we need a spoon, you don't eat that right there, the middle. So you don't eat the middle, <laughs> you eat the yellow. Oh my gosh, you're gonna cut your hand I'll off. be fine. Oh, there's your piece. Wait, don't eat it yet. Wait a minute, don't go yet. 
Oh, that is, look how sticky that is. That's what she said. Jesus. <laughs> it's so sticky. Look, it's so sticky. Look at it. You see that? It's fine. Just let, just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Wait. Wait, hey, cheers. Are you tasting it? What? Good. That's really good. So it's weird. It's not sticky. How do you explain this? Like the white part sticky. The white part's super sticky. But the, the fruit part isn't. Yeah, the fruit part is not. We are just we are doing a great job at explaining this. Sweet. Sweet. But not like too sweet. It's almost mango-ish. Yeah. Without the mango aftertaste. The texture is like chicken. It's like a sweet chicken. Yeah. Sounds really gross. Yep. But it's really good. I wonder what kind of calorie content we're looking at in this thing. It's high. Is it? Mm -hmm. well, let's check it out. So 155 calories in one cup. 92% of those come from carbs. It has some protein and a small amount of fat. So one cup is 155 calories, 40 grams of carbs, Three grams of fiber, three grams of protein. Pretty lopsided, but that's how most fruits are, to be honest. It freezes well. Huh. Oh, I keep dropping these little pods. So, what's the appropriate way to cut? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's it. I will say this is a tough fruit to get unpacked. A watermelon is easier than this without a doubt. Jeez. Well, you're doing a great job. It's going everywhere. So he's got these little pod area thing you see here. Then you just pop them out. The nuts are safe to eat. Are they really? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's so strange, but it's really good. Let's try to seriously cut it how you're supposed to. Cause I bet it's a much better experience than what I've created here. No. Yeah, it's tough, but it's when you bite into it, it's not tough. I, I, like it's it's like it's tough when you squeeze it, but you bite into it, and it's just. Okay, now what? Are you supposed to eat the nuts? It said they're safe. You didn't think it tasted horrible. <laughs> Why are you eating this, bro? Our dog's been eating these, like, nuts. Get it, get in there. Get in there. Get, you, you're not in there. Get, go, go, go. What the, hell, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, that worked for that? Okay, the verdict is this. Jackfruit, really good. Really good. Jesus Christ! Jenna! <laughs> this is a good fruit. I really like this fruit. I can't believe I've lived 30 years and not tried it ever. Even like a restaurant, and I'd be very interested to see it paired with a meat, as people said. Um, I don't, I wonder what that's like. As a meat. Oh, it's a meat as a meat. substitute because it, it, because it has the texture of meat. Oh, no way, no, no, I disagree with that. Um, taste, eight out of 10. Packaging, zero out of 10. Well, I gotta just say, I'd try this, I would eat this again. Um, it's a chore cutting up, that's for sure. This is this reminds me of a pomegranate. This is like a big pomegranate. It's a pomegranate by way of like uh, cutting it up and preparing it, you know? Does that make sense? Because a pomegranate, like there's a lot of, my lips are it's sticking. A, it's a, a pomegranate, it's a pain in the ass too? Yes, they are. My lips are sticking together as I talk. Buddy! I told you this stuff was sticky. <laughs> Some of the jackfruit ended up on his back. Can you get a good call? <laughs> <laughs> get the jackfruit, buddy. Get the jackfruit off of you. Get it, buddy. Get it, bro. Get it. All right, overall thoughts. What do you think? Uh, 
stuff. Super sticky, super messy, not easy to get out, but it tastes really good. Tastes really good. I think that it's worth the work. And calorically, you gotta be careful with this one. Very low in protein, obviously, it's a fruit. But I think this would be really good, like post-workout, I'm sure it's loaded with micronutrients as well. Yeah. Really, really good fruit. This would be a perfect fruit to like buy already prepared at like a grocery store or a restaurant. This one would be worth paying the extra money to have it already prepared for sure. But there's something just so native about cutting it open yourself. Really appreciate you guys sliding by. It means the absolute world that you've made it this far in the video. If you're feeling squirrely and you want to support us on Patreon, there's a link down below. You never have to pay for our content, but if you do, it helps us put out even more, even better videos for you guys. You don't have to be perfect at this making your kitchen a sticky mess thing. Just be better than yesterday. Every day. Every day.